You know, life is full of give and take. And your article writing efforts are no exception. Every article you write should have the correct combination of give and take. And the content of your article, now well, that's the give to the reader. Now the resource box, the resource box is the place where you can take an opportunity to share information about yourself, your business, your personal interests, and of course, your call to action. But if you try and take too much, well, you get the idea. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm the communications manager for EasyInArticles.com. In this video, we're going to talk about resource box best practices. First things first though, a resource box is found at the end of your article and gives the reader extra resources to learn more about what they were just reading. In order to craft a highly effective resource box, there are a few simple do's and don'ts to keep in mind. First, do keep it shorter than 15% of your article body line count. Do include your full name and your unique selling proposition. Do upload an author photo so a thumbnail will appear in your resource box. And lastly, do provide one simple call to action and a link to your website in the typical URL form. Some items you might use to entice a reader to visit your landing page may be to offer a free ebook or an MP3 file, a PDF document, or additional graphs or reports, or maybe secrets about the industry, or even your easy and subscription information. Regardless of what you put in your resource box, make sure you don't tarnish your credibility by overdoing it. Keep it benefit oriented to your ideal client. And this means don't get greedy. Just because you have their attention doesn't mean they won't leave. One simple call to action is part of the perfect combination of take that you get with your resource box. Also, don't list every website you own or all the awards you won or the products you're selling. There's no faster way to dilute your credibility than by listing information that has nothing to do with the content of your article. Now that you know how to craft your resource box, let's put it to good use. To create your resource box, log into your my.easyandarticles.com member interface. Then visit your Write and Edit tab and click on Resource Boxes from the options on the left. From here, you can create new resource boxes, edit existing ones with ease, and save resource boxes from live articles for future use. It's important to note that modifying resource boxes in live articles is a little bit different. Resource boxes in live articles need to be manually edited or deleted one at a time. To do this, you must visit your published articles, which you can find right above the resource boxes option. Find the article you wish to edit and click the corresponding blue arrow at the far right. You'll then be presented with a few options. Select the little piece of paper with the pen to edit this article. From here, make your changes to this resource box, click save, and resubmit your article. Each article that is edited must be re-reviewed to make sure it meets Easy and Article's current editorial guidelines. This is normally done within one business day of your resubmission. Now remember the old saying that says, practice makes perfect? Well, that's true with any tool, and the more you use it, the better you become at utilizing its full potential. Keep in mind that your resource box should be simple and only include one call to action, and don't get greedy. Now go, go and create that perfect resource box and that perfect combination of give and take to maximize your credibility and increase traffic to your website or blog. I'm Mark, and on behalf of Easy and Articles, thanks for watching.